Um, knock, knock. Who's there? Wait. Woof. Woof who? Woohoo! <laughs> He's not a regular teacher. He's definitely not a regular teacher. He's the type of teacher that you can go up to him and tell him, hey, I'm having a bad day, and he'll like ask if you're okay, and he cares about each and every one of his students. That's one thing that I noticed. This one's will start. That's <laughs> all I will start. Ben, from day one, has just been the most personable and energetic and just fun kid to be around. He'll, he walks in the door every morning with a big smile on his face. He says hi to all the teachers in the hall. He always has stuff going on. He's got a tennis racket with him half the time or Taekwondo half the time, but just always so energetic and um, always happy to be here with a big smile with those missing teeth in there. Thank you. <laughs> One of the first things I remember Nathias telling me is um, I met him outside when all the students were lining up on the first day of school, and he came up and saw me and said, oh my God, a black male teacher. And that was the first impression that I had of knowing that Thias was gonna be excited about having this new experience with me. I've never had a male teacher or dark-skinned teacher, so I was like, wow, that's really cool. They're usually very kind and like, let you do a lot of fun things and just give you a good time, mostly. It's kind of something I've always wanted to do since I was little, and I want to go into nursing school, and I want to be um, a pediatric nurse. So that's something I've always wanted to do. I think the most important thing is I think you would be a wonderful nurse. I, you know, my Mrs. Wu is a nurse. I, I see a lot of nurses and, and know that it's, it, it's, uh, it is not an easy profession. It's competitive, uh, and there's a lot of education, right? But knowing you, I feel like 110% 110%, you will be just fine, and you will be very good at nursing. Uh, we've also had an opportunity to hang out on the weekends. I got to see him in a basketball game, and just seeing the growth there of the sportsmanship, uh, contributing to a team, being positive in an environment where he gets to really show off who he is. Mr. Mason, he is like the best teacher that I've ever had because he knows exactly how to help me and what he needs to do to help me. Like if I'm in the red zone, he lets me go in the common corner back there or he lets me take a walk around the school and then come back when the timer goes off. I think one of the biggest things that impacted me was probably um, the fact that he always believed in me, like that I could always do something. Even if I thought I couldn't, he would always be there and push me and be like, you can do this, you can do this, just try. And I always figured it out. The day that I envision in my mind is your graduation day from high school, finishing up that K through 12 block of learning. And I would like to say to you on that day, thank you, Matthias, for showing me how to be a patient, compassionate teacher. Uh, thank you for helping me grow in my capacity to understand the young people of your age because you're always telling me some new type of dance that I don't know about or some new anime that I didn't know about. I'm a big Naruto fan now. Um, so that would be what I would say to him that he's taught me and then just really wanting him to continue to persevere, push forward wherever he decides to go because I know he's got a lot of ambitions. He's talked about rap, he's talked about sports. So I would just say something to inspire you to keep going, bettering yourself and persevering no matter what it is that you pursue. Oh, I'm positive Ben will do great things. He works really hard. I see him just really excelling in school throughout, all the way through high school. After that, I could see him being the leader of a company, being a comedian, being all sorts of things. The possibilities are endless. Truly, he played the teacher role. Awesome teacher role. Thank you. <laughs>